Today on Drawbly. Ben is exploring with random colors. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we are self-taught artists documenting our process of learning to draw, which is of course better with friends. So click that subscribe button if you're new around here and share your artwork on Instagram with hashtag Drawbly. And of course, check out our guidebook, How to Easily Draw Every Day, at the link down below in the description. We'd love for you to share some art and of course, join in the process of drawing. So Ben, what was so random about this color palette? Um, that's a, that's a great question. So, as you know, with my process, lately I've been uh, using reference for my sketches, but not using reference for like paint or lighting or anything like that. Which is amazing. I mean, painting without reference for lighting, that sounds really hard. Well, I, I kind of give really simplistic, boring lighting scenarios, just like top down. So I don't know if, I don't know if it's all that impressive, but that's kind of the process that I want to practice a lot right now is painting from the imagination. I've been ex uh, experimenting with sketching from the imagination. I didn't show my sketches from this week because they're pretty boring and I didn't want to show. Like, I didn't think they were worth the time on Drawbly. Mm. There's a lot of stuff that we don't show on Drawbly that doesn't make it into the cut. Yes, that's But fair. anyway, uh, in terms of random colors here, which you'll see very soon, um, I just kind of picked some colors that I thought were nice. I know you're a big fan of Lowish, I've heard. Uh, what? Me? Who? <laughs> and you know how Lowish picks her colors, right? Mm-mm, tell me about that. I'm, I'm, she just does it by feel. She does it randomly. Oh, yes, I have seen that. <laughs> so, um, I guess one process I could try in the future would be to like make multiple little color sketches in, in different hues, different mm -hmm. colors, different saturations, mm -hmm. and then from there pick one. But I just kind of picked one and then messed with it a lot and then stuck with that one. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, we all have to start somewhere and sometimes doing something like that in depth will allow you to speed it up later in the future. And in the future then, with that sped up process, you could do all the little thumbnails that it wouldn't take you three days. Do you, do you find I do at least, that there are certain colors or combinations of colors that you really lean toward? I would be willing to bet that if you took a look at my body of work, you would probably find themes throughout, mm -hmm. especially if I'm doing my own color picking that would be, you know, similar across the board. But, oh, but nothing like particularly comes to mind? No. I felt the same way, somebody asked me that at one point. And then I went and looked at my art station and I was like, wow, there's a lot of blues and pinks in here. Like yeah. blue, and, blue and red was uh, definitely a strong motif. Hmm. But in, uh, in Drawly, I feel like something I've been doing a lot is trying to make weird color combinations that I wouldn't have tried in the past, mm -hmm. like try to work. So like green and red, I don't know why, but I always try green and red without, so without making it feel Christmassy. Oh. I feel like you can be, I think green and red, some like variation of those colors can look really cool, but it's difficult to not make it feel like Christmas. <laughs> yeah, isn't that funny how much of a chokehold Christmas has on green <laughs> oh. and red? Two very, very common, like normal colors, but put together and it's Christmas. I don't remember where we heard this, but uh, the color green is like hated by artists. I know, you. I see that here and there in the- Like nature paintings, environments. It turns out everything's just yellow and orange. It's not actually green, it's all an illusion. <laughs> it's all an illusion. Blues and yellows next to each other. They're like, sure, green, close enough. I guess so. I can't imagine really why. I've seen maybe one video. Have you tried painting environments with green? It just sucks. It just sucks, does it though? For me. <laughs> maybe I'm just bad at green. I think they're all hard. All the, all the colors are hard? All the colors are difficult. I cannot paint with all the colors of the wind. Mm, <laughs> I cannot darn. paint them, Sam, I am. Has there been a, speaking of of the Pocahontas. Has there been a live action version of that? I know I that don't... we just had the Little Mermaid, no, right? No, no, there's no Disney uh, recent live action. Just a matter of time, right? Yeah, well, I don't know. That one, I feel like in the modern day has certain political connotations and charges that might be uh, challenging to approach in this day and age. I but, see. But Disney would be up for the challenge. I feel like they could handle it okay so here here i tried like some colors i was like ooh, blue red yellow i'm gonna oh, yeah, i'm gonna yeah, yeah. start with that and then i'm gonna just tweak it and see where it goes it's like modern like modern color combinations i see at target currently are you calling my artwork target i'm calling it like 
mainstream pop culture. Oh, God, I don't want to be mainstream, Abby. That's the problem. That's your own fault, then, for choosing this particular color combination. <laughs> I am just, like, inherently reminded of going to Target and picking out, you know, gold jewelry to pair with my color-blocked uh, garment that they sell there. They all sell the same garment. It's all, like, one block of color, and I love it. <laughs> I, uh, with the color of the hair right now, when I was painting this, I was like, this kind of looks like, uh, Jesse from Pokemon, mm, the Team Rocket mm -hmm, character. Mm -hmm. I was like, I cannot do that color of red. I have to do something else. <laughs> looking, looking too much like, that's like Pokemon. Funny. I didn't see that at all, but, you know, that's not where my brain... You don't I, have Pokemon brain like I do, You Abby. have such strong Pokemon brain. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... It's all the time. It's a poison. <laughs> uh, and then another thing I have been playing around with a lot that you've seen probably is colorizing my lines. I love it. I love it. Ooh, you know what? I just had an idea. I just had an idea for a future Drobly okay. episode. We um, <gasps> trade sketches. Oh, I knew you were going to say and that. And then we paint color each, other's. each other's sketches. That's such Doesn't a good idea. Doesn't that sound idea. like fun? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Let's, st let's stop recording and go do that. Okay, bye. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for that in the next couple months, as long as we don't forget all about it, because that is equally likely. I have a, an amazing skill uh, with Drawbly, which I like to call everything that I say on Drawbly, moments after I say it, I completely forget oh, it. It's yeah. gone. It's yeah. into the void. We've probably shared so much about our, our personal lives and hopes and dreams and fears, and if somebody were to say, oh, I heard you're, you know, terribly afraid of the ocean, as many people are, I'd be like, how did you hear that? How do you know? I've never said <laughs> that to his ankles. Oh! I am also, you know, uh, also afraid of deep water, but that's just kind of that delightful oh, chills I, I of the lassophobia, you know, just like, ooh, it's so scary. I didn't know you were afraid of deep water. In the same way that anybody who enjoys the lassophobia pieces of photography is. You're okay. not really, like, afraid of it, but you enjoy, like, the sense of, like, it's kind of like that similar fear of, like, deep space. Like, I'm not actually, like, afraid of it. I don't mm. hate it either, but it gives you just this delightful sense of, like, ooh. It almost sounds like you like it the way you're describing it <laughs> not that you're afraid of it <laughs> well it's considering i i would be more likely to seek that out than say something that inspired uh tryptophobia um, is that the holes one? Oh, it's the holes one yeah, i like hate a, that like a uh like wasp a, nest like or something like a barnacle encrusted rock like a barnacle sure no okay. not a barnacle a barnacle encrusted rock oh, i'm sorry with yeah. many barnacles with many bar of, of i course. saw one once and it stuck with me okay i couldn't look at it without feeling i don't remember how i felt was it nauseous was it dizzy it was weird Ab I abby like can it. i actually tell you something creepy yeah so last night <gasps> When we were asleep, uh, I woke up oh in the middle of the night. Oh no! And there was someone standing next to our bed. No! <laughs> what? And Who was it? I. So obviously it was a dream. <laughs> oh, the worst kind of dream. <laughs> I've never had a dream like this. But I. What's the uh, your? The sleep demon. Night yeah. sleep paralysis. Demon. Sleep paralysis demon. Oh, it wasn't no. a demon though. It was just like a guy. Even but, worse. Uh, okay. Even worse somehow. <laughs> but like I couldn't move. A guy. <laughs> because I was asleep. Yeah. But uh, I'm pretty sure my eyes were open. That's happened to me. It's so, terrible. So what what it was was I was looking at the nightstand in my brain who. Like that was mostly asleep was like this is a person standing here and I like was trying to shake myself awake and I could not <gasps> like wake I've up. I've gone through It that was so times. weird. I've never experienced that. I've, I've been laying in bed like trying to yell for you to like wake me up only to realize like I'm only yelling in my dream mm -hmm. and it's the worst. You uh, asked me this morning, you're like, are you okay? So I must have been like, like really struggling in my dream because I was dreaming that we moved but we moved to an ugly house. Oh, and we left behind our words. pretty house and oh. we went to an ugly house because oh we had to gosh. buy one. And we rent a pretty house, but we don't own it. And we, and so I guess my <laughs> fear is that we're going to buy an ugly house. We got to buy an ugly house. Oh, Abby, why would we buy an ugly house? I don't know, but it was so oh, bad. <laughs> and like, <laughs> yeah. I like how your bad dream is something that we have complete control over. <laughs> <laughs> 
do we though in this economy? <laughs> <laughs> Not in this economy. We we have to buy an ugly house, and we're gonna like it too. Also, this uh, weird man is moving in with us because that happened in my dream too. Uh, okay. Oh, maybe your maybe man. Maybe it was your sleep Maybe your weird man demon. jumped from my dream to your dream. <laughs> he was gonna live there with us though, and I was none too pleased. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That reminds me of the story you told me about the guy that was living in your friend's attic or okay. something. Which no is... guy was living in my friend's attic. This was a friend of a friend. A probably friend a, a friend, friend of a friend of a friend, but I saw the photo. We've probably. talked about this on Draw yeah. before. I'm positive. Anyway, hey, here's my finished artwork. Look at this wow. Piece of artwork. We did she it. We made it. reminds me of uh, the love girl from Demon Slayer a little bit with those colors. The love Hashira. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's also really high key. Like, it, it feels blown out. Yeah, it does. There's nothing, like, dark here. It's I, all light. I feel like I need to go in and adjust the contrast. I, I like it. You know, maybe this is your style of the day. Maybe. Well, here. I'm going to put it in right here. I edited it in. Oh, the, wow. the more contrasted version. How you just really committed yourself to a lot more work. I love that. <laughs> Live. Androbly. And people can let us know which one they like more. Did oh, I, oh, my gosh. I, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> And if you want to see more, click that like and subscribe button. And check out our guidebook, How to Easily Draw Every Day, at the link down below in the description. And share your work on Instagram with the hashtag Drawbly, because drawing is better with friends. And this is the part where we say... Goodbye. Goomba. Are you really going to go back and create a new one? I'm not going to create a new one. I'm just going to adjust the levels. You're going to do that? The Yeah. I mean, I, I already did it. They already saw it. It already happened. Uh we don't know that yet. <laughs> this is the past, talking to the future. Wow. Mm -hmm. Kind of hurts my brain a little. <laughs>